Before we get started, I just want to say I am aware that you guys want a new Fallout New Vegas modding guide. The current script that the guide uses is kind of outdated. It also doesn't work on SD card installations of Fallout New Vegas. At least, not without sim linking. I'm in the process of trying to edit that script myself, and I'm not sure if I'll ever finish. In the meantime though, this is a video for a different modding guide for a different game using a different program altogether. Enjoy! You ready to mod some more games on your Steam Deck? This is R2 Modman. R2 Modman stands for Risk of Rain 2 Mod Manager. But it's not strictly limited to Risk of Rain 2, as it supports a couple of other games as well. To get started, you will need to go to the website for R Modman 2. You will need to press Manual Download, and then you will need to download it. Once you've extracted the zip file, run the app image. The Mod Manager should pop up. The Mod Manager will manage whatever game you select. So for this example, we're just going to do Risk of Rain 2. That said, Mod Manager 2 supports a wide variety of games, including other popular games like Enter the Gungeon. So scroll down to Risk of Rain 2, press Select Game, select Steam because I know you didn't buy this game at the Epic Game Store. You can actually create multiple different mod profiles. In this case, you start with one default profile. But I'm just going to create a brand new one, and we're going to call this one Modded because we're going to mod the crap out of this profile right here. So once you select your profile, you're ready to mod. The cool thing about this mod manager is that it's native Linux. This makes things so much easier. In the meantime though, we can now select Risk of Rain 2 mods to install from the Thunderstore database. There's at least 2,000 mods that you can install. You can examine individual mods by clicking on them. You get a little description of what the mods do. And if you want to download them, you can press the download button. If a specific mod has any dependencies, it'll download said dependencies as well. So right now I'm just downloading some mods that'll make mods work better on Risk of Rain 2. Now let's look for a mod that I would be interested in. Hold on. Hold on, is that Deku from Macadamia? Oh no. Oh my god. You're kidding me, right? You gotta be kidding me. I gotta try this out. So yes, as a refresher, to download mods, you just press download. If a mod has any other dependencies, the mod manager will just download those as well. That said, you would typically press start modded. But if you've installed Risk of Rain 2 on your micro SD card, you'll come across this error message right here. I've let the developers of this mod manager know of this issue. But in the meantime though, there is a workaround. This requires creating a sim link from your SSD on your SD card. For Risk of Rain 2, the relevant directories are listed right above. Be sure to pause the video to check it out for a bit. After you do this, you must launch the game at least once in desktop mode. Just click Start Modded and it'll do that. That said, our Modman 2 doesn't create a separate save data for modded games. So in the case of Risk of Rain 2, it's best if you create a brand new profile. And now for the moment of truth to see if I can actually play as Deku. So, hmm, that's not Deku. There you are. That, this is, this does not feel right. But you know what? It's modded. As you can see here, Deku has multiple different additional skill slots, more than four skills available to him at once. He's also got multiple different unique mechanics as well, such as his ability to release different thresholds of one for all. I gotta try out this character more, but honestly the fact that this even works at all and it was really easy to set up on Steam Deck is really something else. But of course, I'm just using keyboard and mouse to play this game. Does this actually work in game mode? I'll show you how to get this working in game mode as well. If you go back into Modman 2, you can actually go into the help section. The help section contains a lot of useful information, but especially this. Our Modman 2 provides you a custom launch argument. Adding this launch argument to Risk of Rain 2 lets you start Risk of Rain directly from Steam. Modded. You would copy this directly from your mod manager into your Risk of Rain 2 launch arguments within Steam. You would do it kind of like kind of like this. Now, once you've done this, you can go into game mode and test it out. And yes, as you can see here, it still works even in game mode. And Deku still works with controller despite having literally double the skill slots. That right there is your Risk of Rain 2 modding guide. That said, R2 Mod Man only works in desktop mode. It doesn't launch in game mode. At least for right now it doesn't. I've added R2 Mod Man as a non-Steam game, and I tried to launch it in game mode, but it just 
doesn't work. It doesn't load. In order to download and update brand new mods, you must go into desktop mode and launch R2 Modman directly. As of right now, they are aware of this, but I hope in the future they can fix this issue so we can launch R2 Modman and manage our mods directly from game mode. R2 Modman not only supports Risk of Rain 2, but also a variety of other games as well. The developers are constantly updating the application, adding support for new titles. R2 Modman also has a Windows version as well. If you liked this video, you should give it a thumbs up and spread the good gospel of high tech low life. And if you want to see more high tech low life, be sure to enable notifications and press the subscribe button. Furthermore, we have a community Discord server for enlightened individuals such as you. And in case you wanted to directly support high tech low life, you can join our Patreon page.